you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. Hey guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I am transforming into the Grinch today. Um, I've been wanting to do this look for so many years now and I've actually, I've wanted, I wanted to do it with like the prosthetics and the fake hair and everything, but um, I just don't have that kind of skill and talent to be honest. So this was the best that I could do and um, I was actually inspired by another YouTuber here. So I'm going to leave her link to her Grinch tutorial in the description box for you guys. Um, I definitely have to give credit to her because I did not come up with this all by myself. Um, she definitely helped inspire me for this look. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this transformation video. If you've been with my channel from the very, very, very beginning, the very start, you know that I used to do a lot more fun and creative type of makeup tutorials and I miss doing that. So I'm going to start doing that more often now. Um, so leave your requests. Which crazy character makeup look would you like to see next? I'm not going to just wait until Halloween time because then that's just, that's no fun. So I'm going to try to do more creative makeup tutorials for you guys at least once a month. So if you have a request, let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this Grinch transformation video. Hey guys, okay, so I am starting off by putting in my green contacts from Pinky Paradise and now I'm going to take a light green and apply this all over my face. I'm actually just using a mixture of white face paint and green face paint to get this light color and you might want to apply it in several layers just to get a nice even application all over the face. So now with a dark green, I'm going to use this to add some depth to my face so that it's not just a flat green color. So I'm using this to kind of contour out my cheekbones, my forehead area. I'm going to go a little bit on the eyelid and then I'm also going to bring it on to my jaw and chin area and you just want to make sure you blend it all out. Now I'm taking that same dark green color on a smaller brush and applying this onto my eyebrow area creating this weird type of arch. So it goes up in the front and then where the arch is it goes pretty high and then I'm just going to take a clean brush and blend it out just a little bit. And now it's time to trace out the muzzle or mouth area and it's kind of hard to explain this shape but it goes wider towards the mouth or I don't know if that made sense. And now I'm just going to take a clean brush to blend it out and if you mess up at all you can just take the light green and go over it so that the lines are nice and clean. Now I'm going to be making a few lines around the eye area and this is going to be like his expression, wrinkle kind of thing. So um, I'm doing three little curvy lines under my eye, one winging out and then one under my eye as if like it were an eye bag or something. And of course you want to just blend out these lines so it looks like, like shadow and it just looks more realistic. And I'm just going to curve that line up towards my eyebrow just like that and you want to really blend it out really nicely over here. Now I'm going to create two lines going through those three lines we did earlier. So just like that and now I'm going into the eyebrows and I'm going to make little hair marks and towards the arch he has these little curvy hairs and I did a terrible job, job doing these so maybe do something a little better than mine. And I'm just going to go along the face and make some more expression marks, wrinkles, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm taking some black and applying that onto my lid and also my lower lash line just a little bit. And then I'm going to also blend it into the kind of where my nose bridge is or that line we made earlier and just blend it all out. And I'm just going in making some more expression marks around the mouth. 
I guess that's not the mouth, the muzzle area. You know what I mean. <laughs> now it's time to go in with a black face paint or even black eyeshadow and define and darken up any lines that you really want to stand out. So basically everything we did earlier was just like the shadow or the um, first layer. Now the black is what's really going to make this whole look kind of stand out. And so I'm just going over, I'm not going over all the lines, but I'm going over just a few of the lines like the muzzle, some around the eyes, definitely the eyebrows and oh and I forgot to say you want to make some um, eyelashes because he has really long eyelashes and then now for the nose I'm just using a dark green and creating a little button nose and then tracing it with black face paint right around it and then you want to drag in that color inwards and then I'm going to take the green face paint and just tap it on top just to give a nice blend so it looks like that. Now with a black face paint I'm going to draw straight down to my lips and then on the outer part of my lips curve, make a curved line so it kind of extends my, my lips a little more and it kind of gives me that like um, like that sinister smirk, you know what I mean? Ooh. And now I'm just going to create some shadow under my lip like this and some shadow around the curve of my mouth and I'm going to fill in my lips green and now for some accent colors I'm using a yellow color around the eyebrows and then white around certain parts of the face just to add some more dimension. And lastly I'm going to add the little whisker marks and this look is complete so just throw in your Santa hat and you're ready to go. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe up there. It's totally free and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And I upload a lot of videos. So you won't miss a single one if you subscribe. And then you can check out my last two videos here. The top one is my most recent video. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but it's right there. And it's also linked below. And then down below is my Vlogmas videos. So go check out Vlogmas if you haven't been watching. I vlog daily, not just during December. I actually vlog every single day of the year. So if you want to see what my life is like on an everyday basis, go click right there. And then over here is my little flower of the week. If you guys want to be my little flower of the week, just read the description box below. All you have to do is either buy a Jack Jack shirt, snap a picture of you wearing it and use the hashtag Jack Jack and so I can see it and then you might be featured or just send a picture of you watching one of my videos using the hashtag Jack Jack. Post it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram so I can see it and I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, have a magical day. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your hearts and empty holes.